One of the things, uh, structural problems in our society, is we can very easily build a consensus that some work needs to be done, but nobody seems to have solved a way to make money doing that work. Well, when there's no profit model to do work, then the work gets undone and the world becomes, uh, it goes into disrepair and it gets decayed. And along with a lot of other social entrepreneurship, like taking care of the elderly or rehabilitating uh, land or fields that have been uh, uh, you know, messed up over the years and other things like that, uh, I think this is all really valuable work that doesn't have a profit model. I think one of the nice things to imagine about uh, uh, our society after a basic income rollout is people just deciding, you know what? I want to fix that and going to work fixing it without needing to find a profit model motive in order to do that. As an entrepreneur, when I started Pythian, but also when I started uh, several other companies that all failed spectacularly for other reasons before Pythian got off the ground, um, I was always a bootstrapped entrepreneur. And you know, I laughingly have joked about how I call this the abject poverty funding method because if no venture capitalist will believe in you, you can't afford to pay yourself a salary. So you just need to go to work on getting your startup off the ground and try to make ends meet by hook or by crook in the meantime. And one of the things that I really love about this idea is uh, imagining myself uh, as an entrepreneur back then and just how much, uh, how much more uh, support I would have had for getting my companies off the ground and how much less risk it would have been for me to, to uh, take on those projects. And specifically, the vision that uh, this kind of a, an approach would uh, amplify the opportunity for other people to essentially make a bet on themselves. When you're making a really huge bet on yourself, you tend to become an entrepreneur. And if you, if you realize that entrepreneurship is perceived by a lot of people as like only these huge high stakes entrepreneurial situations, but the, 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 there's a reason that it's almost stereotypical that entrepreneurs also found uh, uh, independent retail establishments like convenience stores to the point where in The Simpsons, of course, it's gotta be Abu. And the reason is that uh, immigrants are also forced to make a huge bet on themselves. If nobody else believes in you, you make a huge bet on yourself and you can get a company off the ground. But I think a lot of entrepreneurs end up trapped in the job path when a lot of them might actually prefer to follow that uh, entrepreneurial path instead.